Hello everyone, in this video I'm gonna go over Henry's law. It states that the solubility of a gas in a liquid at particular temperature is directly proportional to the pressure of the gas in equilibrium with the solution. So that means let's say M if we measure solubility in M then M is directly proportional to pressure P and it can be written as M is equal to Kp where K is the constant. So this is basically we are looking at effect of pressure on the solubility of a gas in a solution. So here in this diagram over here, let's say we have a gas in dynamic equilibrium with a solution. So this yellow part is a solution and these pink circles are gas molecules. Since there is a dynamic equilibrium, the number of gas molecules entering the solution. So these, let's say, gas molecules are trying to enter this solution over here. This is equal to the number of dissolved molecules leaving the solution or the solution phase. If three are entering, then three are leaving out from the solution. Now, if we increase the pressure here, so P2 is greater than P1. If we increase the pressure, this will increase the number of gas particles per unit volume of the solution as shown in this diagram over here. So as a result, the more molecule will be striking the surface of liquid and hence more molecule will dissolve and solubility of gas will increase until new equilibrium is reached. So increasing the pressure of a gas above the solution increases the solubility of the gas. So this is basically Henry's law is. If we increase the pressure, that will increase the solubility. Higher the pressure, higher the solubility. So if we use, let's say, mole fraction of a gas in a solution as a measure of its solubility, so let's say mole fraction, that's another way to write Henry's law, which is more common. So if we have mole fraction, x, let's say, and we use mole fraction of a gas in a solution, as a measure of its solubility, then in most common way, Henry's law states that partial pressure of a gas in vapor phase, let's say P is the partial pressure, I'm going to write it down over here, partial pressure P, then Henry's law states that the partial pressure P of a gas in vapor phase is proportional to the mole fraction of the gas. So P is proportional to X. Or it can be written as P is equal to KH X. And KH here is Henry's law constant. And this constant depends on the nature of the gas. That means different gases have different KH value. Another interesting thing is higher the value of KH at particular pressure. So as we see over here, lower is the solubility. So if we write it, rewrite this equation, this can be written as K is equal to pressure over KH. So X is a mole fraction and we are using it uh, as a measure of solubility. So if KH, if the value of KH increases, 
that will decrease the value of x so that means lower the solubility also kh increases with increase in temperature kh is directly proportional to temperature so that means if temperature increases the value of kh increases which will decrease the solubility so solubility of a gas decreases with increase in temperature the so solubility of a gas is inversely proportional to the temperature so for example oxygen is more can get more dissolved in cold water than in warm water so that's why fish in cold water or the fish likes the cold water than the warm water because there is more oxygen dissolved in the cold water compared to hot water or the warm water we can say there are few applications of henry's law one of them is um, in soft drink to increase the solubility of carbon dioxide in soft drinks or soda waters the water is sealed under higher pressure another application is at higher altitudes the partial pressure of oxygen is less than that of ground level this leads to low concentration of oxygen in blood and due to that due to this low blood oxygen causes climber to become weak and unable to think clearly this happens because pressure decreases as they are on higher altitude and less oxygen dissolved so that affects their body there are more um, application that you can find but this is in nutshell the henry's law directly proportional to pressure the solubility and inversely proportional to kh or we can say inversely proportional to temperature so solubility of the gas increases with increase in pressure and solubility of the gas decreases with increase in temperature and here is another example over here this graph so this plot over here shows the solubility of hcl gas in cyclohexane at 293 kelvin the straight line graph shows the validity of henry law the slope of the line gives the henry law constant kh so this shows as the partial pressure increases the solubility of hcl gas in cyclohexane increases